The hardest part in laying out sprinkler piping is connecting your sprinkler heads to your main pipes. There's a couple different ways to do it, but the more difficult way is the way I usually see it done. Under floor plans, I'm going to go to ceiling plans, ceiling sprinkler. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to select this sprinkler head. And I'm simply going to click on connect into. I'm going to pick my pipe. It connected to it, but it doesn't like the system classification on my sprinkler head based on the system that my pipe is on. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. So we're going to close out of this warning. Now my next one's a little trickier. I'm going to select my sprinkler head. And right here, I'm going to click on this create pipe, this little drip icon. Now I'm going to send it above this pipe. Then I'm going to drop it down onto that pipe. So my offset, I'm going to type in like 3,300. And I'm just guessing here, hoping that's high enough. I'm going to come up to my pipe. And I want to click on add vertical. Now we're going to click it, and it should give me the drop down. I'm going to bring my section marker over to investigate. I'm going to open it up, zoom in. Yeah, that works for me. I'm going to hit Control Tab. Now I'm going to keep going. Click the drip. Offset 3300. That there. Now I'm just going to keep going in one clean shot. What's nice, if I'm going to draw it and I want to just cock it off to an angle a little bit, I can do that. So I can come off to the side here, and if I don't think I'm going to make it fit, it's nice because I can do that. Because if I go to a 3D view and zoom in, we can make that connection. I'm going to click on thin lines. We don't need any special fittings other than this crazy looking thing to make that connection. They just kind of move the pipe over to where they need it, and then they let it happen. I'm going to hit Control Tab. I'm going to turn my thin lines off. I'm going to come down. I'm going to select this pipe and right click. I'm going to draw a pipe and make sure my offset is 3300. I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to draw this one. It's a long stretch. Now we've got it. If I go to a 3D view, zoom out, we'll see that we've got all our connections made. We've got our sprinkler heads tied into our mains. Now, if we need to make any adjustment to our mains, we have a little bit of wiggle room in here. But of course, always cut a section and make sure you know what you've got between the deck, the bottom of the steel, and the top of the ceiling. Also, make sure you have other trades turned on in your model. You might not have that clean of a shot. It's going to be easier for you to move your branch piping than it is for someone to move a giant piece of ductwork.